Hello, awesomers. It's me. It's Steve Simons, and I'm coming back to you again with another random ad hoc episode of the awesomers.com podcast, and I'm glad that you're here today. You're listening to my voice right now, which means you're ready to learn. You're ready to have a chit-chat, just you and I today, uh, no guests, and today we're going to talk about chatbots for Amazon sellers. Um, if you really think about the idea of selling on Amazon, there's so many different things you need to know about. And you've probably heard, if you've been paying attention, uh, as long as you haven't been living in a cave, I suppose, you've heard about this idea that chatbots are important. And if you pay attention to any of the clickbait ads on uh, Facebook, you'll see people running ads like chatbots are for losers or funnels are for losers. And all of those are just um, what I think are insulting marketing uh, propagated by clickbait marketeers. But I'm here to tell you, as usual, uh, the idea that chatbots are dead or chatbots are for losers or any of that is nonsense. Chatbots are extraordinarily effective and have absolutely high, high potential to help improve your business. So if you're an Amazon seller, you sell Amazon FBA, uh, stay tuned. Let's, we're going to talk and dive into this, and I'm going to go through the top eight chatbot-related questions for e-commerce and Amazon sellers. So uh, let's uh, dive in here real quick. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to share with you that uh, I've been dealing with chatbots or studying chatbots and trying to figure out how to use them for now close to two and a half years, uh, maybe just a little bit more. You know, we got exposed to the idea of messenger bots via Facebook a couple of, two and a half years ago or so. And if you really go back in time, we've used things like live person and other uh I don't know, messenger processes or messenger systems for websites or direct websites for many years, going back to the you know, 2003 or 2004 timeframe. And so let me just paint that picture for a minute. Those old live chat concepts were where a human, instead of having a phone call, would go into a live chat kind of messenger system. And basically two humans would chat back and forth. Well, of course, those have evolved now to include uh, chatbot functionality. So uh, uh, I'm going to let you know that this is episode, I'm sorry to stutter and stop there, but I'm trying to figure out, I got so much information to tell you, trying to figure out where to begin. So first of all, this is awesomers.com podcast episode number 136. And if you are near a computer, you're going to want to go right now to awesomers.com slash 136 and follow through with me the top eight chatbot questions for Amazon FBA sellers. Um, in some cases, I've included links onto the page where you can click through, you can see a, a messenger bot flow, an example, and there's even links to some messenger bot products. And I may even supplement this from time to time as the ideas strike myself or the team to make sure that the page is useful for you. So again, go to awesomers.com slash 136 to check that out right now, especially if you're on a computer. If you're driving your car listening, go ahead and, uh, Put that down as a note to self to do later. Don't drive into any other oncoming traffic. All right, so number one of the top eight questions, the basic question is, what are chatbots? And I tell you, I have very uh, smart, successful, and highly intelligent business people I deal with, and they still don't really understand, what do you mean by a chatbot? So I want to break this down for you, and I'll just put a quick description on the website. Essentially, the chatbots are pieces of a technology that help respond live to customer interactions. And so the idea is that the engagement between a chatbot and a user is very, very high, and the opportunity to create unique and wonderful experiences exists right now today. And these experiences can be a back and forth between the user and the chatbot so that it feels like almost like two humans interacting. Now, I will tell you that I never recommend that chatbots try to impersonate humans. I think ultimately the user in a chatbot conversation will ask a question that the bot's not programmed for or that it cannot answer. And uh, that's going to happen inevitably. And so you want to just make sure that you tell the truth right off the bat that, hey, it's uh, Ruby the robot working here for you today and make sure that you don't get distracted by this idea. For those watching the video, speaking of distractions, my cables are all bound up, so that's why I'm kind of all over the map here. Uh, my apologies for the video viewers. Uh, audio viewers, uh, you didn't get to see any of that fun stuff. 
So uh, chatbots essentially are a piece of the technology, but I think that people get overwhelmed. Like the idea of programming a, a, a bot, a robot, or any of that sounds overwhelming. And I want to let you know that is not the case. We'll dive into the simplicity of how you can put these into action in your own business in as little as five minutes as we go through further in this podcast. So you'll want to stay very closely tuned in. And I can absolutely tell you that chatbots can have a big impact on your business. And that impact should be positive. And I'm talking about sales, I'm talking about customer service, and I'm talking about just the broad strokes of marketing awareness. Huge, huge opportunity if you know what you're doing. And don't listen to these naysayer, uh, FOMO, fake selling knuckleheads that are you know, putting all these stupid ads on Facebook. They don't know what they're talking about, frankly. And actually, they do know what they're talking about. They're using Facebook, they're using bots, and they're using funnels, the same things they claim are dead. And they're just using this kind of counterintuitive marketing copy to hype you into it. All right, I digress. That's my second rant on that topic. And I shall only rant one or more times in the future about that. Uh, maybe you could tell today, by the way, my voice is a little raspy. Uh, my apologies for that, but I'm just trying to squeeze in another episode. I was just at the Prosper Show in Las Vegas, and so much of the conversation was screaming over music or other people or whatever that my voice literally was almost gone at the end of last night before I flew back. So you are not getting the crystal fidelity clear voice that you may normally look forward to. Uh, so my apologies on that raspiness. But I can tell you the Prosper Show was really fun. Uh, I spoke on a panel there, uh, and the great James Thompson was kind enough to invite me, and we talked about the, some of the pains of scaling an Amazon business. Uh, so if you didn't get to check that out, uh, I hope you uh, come and see us somewhere, wherever we are. Uh, it was really a great time when we met with tons of entrepreneurs. And as a side note, uh, it depends on when you listen to this, of course, but in my own calendar, today live, next week I'll be heading to the Czech Republic for the EU Seller Summit to speak on a panel there as well. And I'm looking forward to that too. So let's move on to number two, and we'll try to pick up the speed. Uh, how can chatbots improve customer service? Well, this is you know, kind of one of the, the easiest ways of using a chatbot, which is to answer basic customer inquiries and even transaction-related data in a live and interactive basis. So for example, if you have uh, a Shopify store, you can tie in an automatic uh, Shopify function to send a customer a transaction uh, message. For example, hey, you just placed an order with Steve's Shopify site, and here's the order number. You know, click or ask me for details, and, and you can even program buttons that say show me details, or show me ETA, or show me tracking number, so that the bot can present information and give customers pre-programmed methods to, to garner additional information. And that is a really great customer experience. Um, further, you can take chatbots and you can trigger them into marketing flows. Uh, so for an example, if you want to run a promotion, maybe offer a coupon or whatever, they, the promotion will show on Facebook or whatever your medium is. It will take somebody into a chatbot flow that then helps you qualify and segment your customers based on their answers and their actions within that bot flow. So not only do they join a list that you can uh, approach later on and interact with, but you have the opportunity to segment that list into various marketing uh, categories that make your further interactions downstream much more relevant. And again, that's part of marketing that we're moving into. It's been moving this way for some time, but it's going to get seriously customized and personalized for our users. And if you're not taking the time to segment and really dive into the details, I think you're missing an experience or an opportunity to improve the experience for the customer because the higher level of personalization or customization can lead to happier customers and more sales downstream. The lifetime value can absolutely be improved by chatbots. So then the, there's an obvious question that comes up, which is what are the best chatbot tools? Now it depends on who's asking the question. As far as I'm concerned, there's a lot of different options. Um, but I'll start with my, who's near and dear to my heart, Amazon FBA sellers. And the clear advantage goes to uh, either sellerchatbot.com or manychatbot.com. And the reason why is that both offer high functionality and both offer very simple 
easy methods of deploying and getting into use. And I think that the edge uh, definitely goes to the seller chatbot product because it's specialized for Amazon sellers specifically. And so there are functions and things built in, and I'll talk about some of those a little bit later, that are specialized just for Amazon sellers. So if you're a real estate agent, maybe you know it can work, yes, easily, but it works best for Amazon sellers today. Now, there are other platforms, including ChatFuel, Avio, Botsify, ChatPeople, FlowXO, in person, and many more. So again, I go back to that original premise of the question, what are the best chatbot tools? And again, the question is, it depends on what you need. It depends on what you want. You can't design a solution before you know what your purpose is and what your expectations are. So if you need artificial intelligence features uh, or natural language processing features to help you manage you know, large volume and transactions and customer inquiries, then you're gonna have to look for enterprise level solutions. And those can cost you know, anywhere from 2,000 to 20,000 a month or more for high levels of volume and technology. Whereas uh, something like Seller Chatbot for an Amazon seller may, you know, may set you back 50 or 60 or $70. I don't know the price to be honest with you, but it's under $100 a month and it is super easy to use. The enterprise level stuff will have a high implementation, a high ongoing cost, but they also have you know, very high capabilities that are kind of built in as well. So those are different tools for different reasons. Now, a question I get a lot, number four, is do chatbots work with Zapier? Now, many of you who know about Zapier will know that it can be very effective at bridging technology uh, stacks. So in one hand, you have a chatbot that needs to perform some function. And I'll give you an example here in a minute. And if the chatbot doesn't have that built in native, then Zapier can help make the connection and become the, the quote unquote missing link. Now, ManyChat is a ex- really good uh, software program or platform, and it's taking uh, this example. Let's say that you want to be, uh, you want to run a marketing program, and you're going to distribute one-time use coupons for Amazon orders that you intend to advertise on Facebook, and you're going to use ManyChat as your system. Well, on ManyChat, you can do that. You set up your flow, and then for the one-time use coupon distribution, you need to use a Zapier integration to bridge that data gap so that you can distribute each of these coupons kind of to each new individual. And it works just fine. It takes a little bit of work and it takes a little bit of technology to set up. And really you kind of need to know what you're doing to, to kind of get it going. Once you figure it out, it's not too bad. And then you just need to pay for the package of Zaps, however many you're gonna use. So there's an added cost that goes along with using Zapier. Now, uh, ManyChat doesn't have the function to distribute coupons built in. That's why you need to use Zapier, which would then connect to like a Google spreadsheet where you've already pasted in all those codes that you got from Amazon, the one-time use coupons. And then Zapier kind of goes through uh, and distributes those one by one as people enter the bot flow and request the coupon code essentially. So to the customer, they never, they don't know. Once they get through the flow where they ask for the the coupon code, it just, it's invisible to them and it just shows up. Now, uh, for those keeping score at home, I mentioned earlier seller chatbot, that already has the one-time code distribution built in, which is really awesome. You just literally copy and paste from Amazon directly into seller chatbot and it will distribute these for you. And for those already using ManyChat, you could use seller chatbot to be the, Uh, coupon code distribution as well, which actually is a lot less expensive if you're distributing a ton of coupons. So Zapier has a cost, Seller Chatbot has a cost, but if you're doing a ton of coupon codes, Seller Chatbot will be less expensive, even incorporating into ManyChat. A lot of people don't realize that's possible. Now, another feature a lot of people don't realize or think about is that while you're doing some of the functionality or some of the marketing, to drive customers to uh, maybe buy your product from Facebook on on Amazon. So you're driving an ad on Facebook, you drive them over to Amazon to make the purchase. Well, you can do a, you know, links or search find buy and distribute different keywords as uh, part of the flow, part of that bot flow. 
So I wanna let you know that is a really cool feature that is available in Seller Chatbot and does not exist in many chat without modifications or adding things via Zapier. Now, the number five question is, do chatbots work for e-commerce? So let's think about a standard e-commerce site. Now, we'll say that Shopify integrates very nicely with Facebook Messenger out of the box, and there are some automated pieces that will go into Messenger from Shopify without you really having to do anything except click a button or two. And that's the things I alluded to earlier, like somebody placed an order on Shopify, they're in there inside their messenger, Facebook Messenger. It's like, hey, thanks for your order from, you know, Steve. Here's the order number. And then it'll say below it, you know, would you like tracking? Would you like, you know, ETA? Would you like, you know, to go back to the website? Whatever. So it's kind of automatically making the customer experience go better. And I want to tell you just how important that correspondence is. So uh, we have one of our websites, simoglobal.com, where we offer various services to e-commerce entrepreneurs like sourcing and photography and dispute resolution in China. And we had a customer, great customer, place an order in the morning and he didn't get an automated response. Now that, that particular site is not running on Shopify. It runs on its own platform. And for whatever reason, the confirmation email didn't go out and the customer got a little excited and he's like, Hey, you know, I sent in, I can see the PayPal took my money but I don't get a confirmation email. And so he starts sending in issues and, and requests. Hey, what's up? What's up? And the reality is that is that particular project is run out of the China office. And so all this time when he placed the order and is asking what's up, he sent two messages saying, what's the deal? And heard nothing because China was still asleep. We basically, he asked for a refund by the end of the day. So that was a terrible customer experience. And that's, that's the fault of our technology in that particular case. The email just simply didn't go out with the confirmation. And we didn't have the bot tied in with it. So our solution is we're going to improve, we're going to put a bot flow on the page so that they can interact with the bot and ask about orders and so forth, as well as obviously fixing the confirmation email piece. So we can take it from a negative experience where we lose orders to a positive experience where we interact with customers even while China's still asleep. You guys see kind of the twist there is, you know, technically the order was in good shape. It was ready to be processed. China was just simply asleep. And that's who handles the customer service for, for photos in China. But the customer didn't know. They didn't know the details and they felt nervous. And so they're like, we want a refund. And just so you know how that story worked out, uh, we in fact took care of the customer anyway and refunded the money because that's the right thing to do. And our technology being dumb should not be our customer's problem. Uh, and again, video viewers, pay close attention. My cables are wrapping around my chair again. My apologies. Okay, uh, we're, we're charging through to the end here, and I've got a couple uh, big reveals. You don't want to miss those, so stay tuned. Uh, the other things about the item number five, by the way, for e-commerce and working with chatbots is there are live customer service agents that now have chatbots built into them. And I think the very best systems will allow a human to interact with the customer, will allow a chatbot to take on some of those easy questions and, and even growing more complex. But no matter who's corresponding with the customer, that all of those interactions with customers are being automatically added to your CRM system so that you can see from your e-commerce site or you know, wherever those conversations exist, even Facebook, they're going into your CRM program. And that way, later you can run you know, some of the big data reports and analyze what are the interactions that are happening between both the humans and the customers, as well as the artificial intelligence or the bots and the customers. So a lot of opportunity there. All right, so we're up to number six. And I know I'm going fast, I normally do. If you're listening to this on one and a half or two times speed, good luck to you. All right, so number six, what are some chatbot examples? So I just wanted to make sure that you guys had a quick and easy example, and this is a very basic bot flow. I may put more examples on the website in the future, but I've got one up there immediately, and it's, it's a fun one because uh, Kevin King and I, this is, as, you're, as you know, your buddy, Steve Simonson, hosting awesomers.com podcast. Kevin King and I, we have a super secret project that we've been talking about for the last couple months, 
and you can go uh, check that out. But we created a bot flow to help us uh, make sure that customers knew about this project and so they can get on the bot list to have an additional way to communicate when we're ready to kind of reveal all the details. Um, I can't tell you what the project is right now, but I can tell you it is extraordinarily not scalable. And so unlike so many others that create fake FOMO or fake scarcity, our scarcity is real, it's painful. I wish it didn't exist, but it does. And so when we go live and we start sharing this, it will be kind of a mad rush to the front of the line. So we wanna give our most avid fans and our most avid followers the chance to use this messenger bot to get on the list so we can communicate with them live on Facebook and let them know, hey, we're going, you know, we're going live. Here's, you know, jump on with us right now and get the, the nitty gritty. So I've, if you go to awesomers.com slash 136, you'll be able to click through and see what that very simple bot flow looks like. And this literally took less than five minutes to set up. I'm not talking about, you know, the figuratively, like I was so tired, I couldn't get out of bed this morning. And then you're looking at them in their eye and you're like, well, you, clearly you got out of bed because I'm, I'm staring at you and I'm not in your bed. So that's not so literal after all. But I'm saying literally five minutes, actual five minutes, the bot flow is done. It's super simple. It basically says, uh, you know, more or less thanks with some funny little gifts and tells them kind of what we're doing, encourages them to go to the website, which they can click through on. And once they do that and they're, they're on both the website list and the bot list, then they're kind of good to go. And later we'll have subsequent communication flows that help disseminate further information. So I'm gonna put that example there. I'll probably add other examples as well for you. So whenever you're going to this, if you've already been there once, you only saw one example, but you're listening again, there may be further examples being added there from time to time. So please go check that out. And frankly, if you're selling a product that you wanna include your bot flow, go to awesomers.com slash contact and we'll add your bot flow there too. Uh, how about that for a special little bonus? So you just have to go to awesomers.com slash contact. Don't expect us to do these on the hour. And if you go, hey, I uploaded my bot flow and yesterday or the day before and it's still not there, uh, give us a break. Uh, you know, this is for free. We, I got to have time for staff to, to get around and get things done. So please set reasonable expectations for me, if you will. Uh, and oh, maybe we'll only allow people who've left reviews to post their bot flow link. Oh, that's a good idea. So if you want your bot flow, great, do it. But be sure we can tie it back to an iTunes review, if you please. Thank you. Ah, see, that's a good way to kind of tie things together. All right, number seven, what can chatbots do? So I know I've alluded to this earlier and I even talked about some examples, but I really want to drive this point home. You know, chatbots can help you not only with marketing, which is creating awareness and driving leads, but can actually help you make actual sales, physical sales, transactions. And that's a powerful thing. But beyond the transaction, the making of the sale, it can help you with customer service. It can help you with that kind of after sale idea of, Hey, where's my invoice? What's my ETA? What's my tracking number? All those very tactile and important yet completely soul killing tasks. A bot is perfect for that. Uh, overall bots can provide lines of communication that originate from pre-programmed flows, which it can include artificial intelligence or NLP natural language uh, processing. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, especially when they're connected to a, a full-on ERP system. That's when things get really powerful because the ERP has all of that data. So imagine a time where, you know, a customer could log into your system and they could say, you know, where's my order? Just something that simple. And it could then just show them all the orders and let them click on which one. They could then see the details of each of those orders. They could see any relevant tracking numbers, uh, invoices, et cetera, et cetera it allows customers to be very self-service. But in the future, it will go beyond that. Imagine vendors. Now we have, uh, I had a company once where on Mondays, our invoice stack would literally be over a, a foot thick of invoices. One foot, uh, that's, uh, I don't know, 300 centimeters. <laughs> I don't know for uh, my European friends. Uh, but one foot, of stack thick of invoices that we had to kind of process and put into the system. So our inquiries from vendors about, hey, did you get this invoice? Or 
you know, hey, why didn't you pay that invoice or whatever? There's a lot of interaction with vendors. Well, if you're that size of a company, you can create bots that your vendors can use too. And they can go to the system and say, is this invoice in your system? When will it be paid? Oh, it was paid? What's the check details? All that kind of stuff too. So I know that people, especially Amazon sellers, we're just thinking about today. And we're saying, you know, am I able to get what I want it to do right now? Like increase my sales, increase my ranking, help me get reviews. And it can do all of that stuff for sure. But in the future, it's going to be much, much bigger and even more important. And you'll, you're going to see, if you haven't already, chatbots all over the place. Um, you know, Alaska Airlines has a, a fun chatbot, and there are many more. You can go to Skype, you can go to WhatsApp, you can go to many places and play with these bots and see what, what the best of the best are doing. So again, once you've already dealt with those pre-programmed flows, you can create a series of messages that lead to customer interactions even for Amazon sellers that help your sales, making a sale, help your ranking by you know, driving additional uh, sales and, and awareness, and then even asking for customers review. And if you treat customers really well, you have great products, and you set up the right kind of engagements to, to foster a good long-term relationship, then you can have a great experience, including reviews. All right, so we're down again to number eight. So earlier we asked, what's the best chatbot and we're going to ask again, just to drive this point on, what's the best chatbot for Amazon sellers, which are, you know, FBA type marketplace sellers around the world. Now, I want to admit some bias here. So I invested in seller chatbot. So I do have a little bit of a bias here, but I can tell you that I have never talked about it until it was ready to be talked about. It was in beta for a long time and really cool. The guys behind it, I'm just a passive investor. Uh, the guys behind it, Paul Harvey and Anthony Webster, are brilliant, brilliant guys. And they are living and breathing Amazon sellers, and they, they're diving and putting their blood, sweat, and tears into this seller chatbot every day. So I want to admit that bias. But I'll be honest, if it wasn't the best thing for an Amazon seller, I would not tell you to use it. For example, if you're a real estate agent, I think you should use ManyChat right off the bat. If you want to have cool things that I'm about to talk about, you can make ManyChat and seller chatbot communicate with each other. That's the best of both worlds. And I'm gonna tell you why that's important right now. So now that I've admitted my bias, I wanna reiterate that the simplicity of seller chatbot is what makes it the clear winner for any Amazon seller. The fact that you can integrate seller chatbot for the things I talked about with um, coupon codes is, that's cool, right? But there are cool new viral features like the Wheel of Fortune, Magic 8-Ball, and other innovative viral sharing solutions that make it the runaway winner for FBA sellers. So I want to give you a concept. Let me paint this picture for you. Imagine, if you will, that you've got a customer and they find some way of interacting with your ad. Maybe it's a, a, you know, a spin the wheel chance or you know, win, win a free spin kind of thing. They click on it. They go to the chat bot. It shows them the wheel. They you know, click it to spin. And then it shows them a 20% coupon code. It says, hey, you win a 20% coupon code, right? So they've already won something. Now the bot then goes on to say, you know, you can get, you can spin again and we guarantee it will be a, for a higher discount amount if you share this with four or five friends or whatever the, I think you can set the threshold. So whether it's a magic eight ball or uh, a wheel of fortune, these are very visually engaging you can see extraordinary opportunity to get someone to share their experience and drive more people into the bot flow. And I'm telling you, getting a large bot list so that you can communicate with people on a regular basis is going to be uh, a real game changer because for your future launches or for your future customer research, launching new products, uh, or just asking you know, about you know, how things are going, these can be really, really powerful. And the other thing that I haven't really mentioned, and this is really the, the holdback, the reveal I was talking about earlier. Most people, when they hear about bots, you could be excited about it right now, but there's a back part of your mind that's going, yeah, but I still, I'm not a programmer. I don't know how to do stuff. I don't want to be a programmer. I don't want to do stuff. And this doesn't take programming. Uh, in fact, Seller Chatbot has 
some basic bot flows already built in, free included, like product pre-launch to get people excited before you launch, a search find and buy flow, a review request flow, uh, velocity sales flows, and even a VIP deals club flow. And all you have to do is kind of fill in the blanks of coupon code, discount amounts, your name, your product URLs, very self-explanatory uh, when you launch these flows. With the tiniest modifications, you can have a bot live in five minutes with no programming. And I tell you, even as you hear that, that sounds exciting, but there's a part of you that still doesn't believe it. <laughs> and I know because some of my very close friends, I was explaining this uh, last week or two weeks ago, and even then they're still like, yeah, that sounds really exciting. But you could tell that they kind of let on a little bit of a sigh at the end. Yeah, that sounds really exciting. <sighs> and, and I'm like, I don't get it. You should be like excited logging in and making one right now because by tomorrow you could have, you know, 100 people opted into your list. And if you really started advertising, you could have thousands into your list within a short period of time. And they basically said, well, I just don't, you know, I don't know how to use that stuff. I've never built a, a chat bot flow. I don't know, even know these words and this terminology you're using. And so it just sounds overwhelming. So that's the, that's the, huh. And so I told him, I'm like, just, you know, let me log in. And we logged in on my system. I showed them exactly and just set up a, a demo flow. And they were blown away at how simple it was. It really is so easy. Your mom could do it. Uh, that's how easy it is. So I personally think that, you know, that's one of the big advantages. Now, ManyChat, by the way, is extraordinarily feature rich and has many, many features that can even become overwhelming. And if you're going to do a 900 layer, you know, 400 option chatbot, maybe many chats an easier way to go because their visual presentation is something that can help you really sort out that crazy matrix architecture. And then you could just use seller chatbot for the viral features or the, the coupon code features. But if you're, you know, like these guys I described and gals, then why not just take a, a quick chance? And by the way, I'm not being paid to promote Seller Chatbot. And although I'm a passive investor, there's no chance that I'll, there's any money coming to me on this anytime soon. This is only being promoted as something I think is really awesome. There, if you go to awesomers.com slash 136, there's a couple links on the page that are probably uh, empowering type of links and things like that. So empowery gets a little Scooby snack, but I don't, you know, there's no affiliate, you know, it's not like if you go buy it, I get uh, some money in my pocket to go, you know, to the Starbucks or whatever, uh, or Burger King drive through whatever the case may be. And there's nothing in this for me, except I love the software. Maybe long-term it'll be successful. You'll share it. You'll tell all your friends about it. And then uh, we'll have some upside, but I truly believe in it. And if I didn't, I would tell you to use something else. So go check it out. Um, and, but find the links uh, because I have a ton of links on awesomers.com slash 136 and see how you can get your bot built in, in five minutes. It really is simple and easy. And I want you to check it out right now. Uh, I do want to make a couple other mentions. As long as I have your ear, if you haven't already, please subscribe, leave a review. We're, we're really growing. Believe it or not, 2019, we're really growing very, very quickly. They're, the rankings are showing high uh, adoption and a lot of listens on the Oscars.com podcast. So I thank you all for sharing it. Please leave a review, subscribe. And again, if you leave a review and you want your bot flow uh, listed on this page, I will put it on this page or have one of my team put it on this page for you if you go to awesomers.com slash contact. Now, I mentioned Kevin King and I, uh, we're going to both be at the Empowery Seattle Summit in 2019, and we've got links to that summit on the awesomers.com slash 136 page. I really want you to come here. We're going to talk not just about chatbots. We're going to talk about the, the world's best marketing and have brilliant people on there who've built billion dollar companies, built billion dollar brands. We're gonna have people in the room who understand Amazon from A to Z. By the way, there's a chance we'll even have some Amazonians coming and joining us, or perhaps we'll go to them. We'll see, that's, a, that's only for those who show up, we'll find out. Uh, there are two types of tickets, there's general admission and there's VIP. The general admission will get you in for 
uh, the first two days and include lunch and breakfast for you, or breakfast and lunch, I suppose, uh, to do it in order. And then VIP tickets will get a special dinner every night uh, with you know very exclusive group there, plus an, a third day mastermind. Uh, and again, uh, absolute abundance of food and drink and so forth throughout the event. This is at the newest, coolest event in the greater Seattle region. You're going to love it. I really want you to come. Take the time right now. Go to ospers.com slash 136 and get yourself a ticket to the summit. Uh, you know, the, the tickets are at least half off of what I normally charge for an event. It's usually, you know, somewhere between $6,200 and $7,500 U.S. dollars for me to have somebody take a seat in the room. And in this case, they are far less, far, far less. I think the general admission is somewhere around $1,200 and the VIP is somewhere around $3,500. So get them before they're gone. The VIPs will sell out very quickly. General admission will ultimately sell out, but uh, this is intended to be a fairly small event. We only want you know, somewhere between, I don't know, 50, 60, maybe 70 people. Uh, we may overflow a little bit with general admission, but in the VIP section, the mastermind area, there's only going to be maybe you know, 20 or 30. Uh, so that is a very special thing to get into. So put that in. And my buddy Kevin King is going to fly up and he's going to speak about the top ways of selecting a winning product in, in China uh, or from wherever. But the best ways to find a winning product for Amazon, you can't miss it because I think he's like the world's best product picker. Uh, and if you haven't already checked out the messenger bot, get on over to kevinandsteve.com and find out what all the buzz is about what we're cooking up there. So I think that's it, everybody. I really appreciate you guys. Um, you know, I was at the Prosper show. I was just, I had a ton of people come up to me and say, Hey, thanks so much for your podcast. I listen all the time. It's helped me so much. And I have to tell you, if you don't look me up and you don't tell me that it's hard for me to remember that this thing is impactful and positive and helpful to folks out there. So please let me know. It helps remind me to get off my keister and actually do stuff and share stuff and record further episodes. So uh, as always, I love entrepreneurs. Thank each and every one of you. Uh, Awesomers.com slash 136. Go check all of that out right now. And if you're driving, check it out later. But don't forget to get that job done. We'll see everybody very, very soon. Bye-bye.